November is Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month, and experts are encouraging people to become educated about this deadly disease. Pancreatic cancer is the third leading cause of cancer death in the U.S., due in part to the fact that it presents at advanced stages, and that makes it difficult to treat. I spoke with gastro-oncologist Dr. James Cleary about what you need to know. I think people wonder, you know, when they hear some of these diagnoses, what is it that makes pancreatic cancer so deadly? Pancreatic cancer has been a tough cancer to treat. Uh, there's a few things. The, the first thing is pancreatic cancer arises in a really difficult part of our body. It's difficult to surgically remove. And, and also, because of where it arises, we often don't see symptoms until the cancer spread. Mm. So that oftentimes the most typical patient will see has the cancer already metastasized to other parts of their body. Yeah. But in addition to the anatomical location, the biology of pancreatic cancer has been very tough. It's a very fast moving cancer. And frustratingly, it's been very resistant to traditional chemotherapies but also some of our newer targeted and immunotherapies. Yeah, that is so frustrating to think about. What are some of the signs and symptoms that people should not ignore? So this is a great question. And, and the most typical thing we'll see is weight loss. So pancreatic cancer patients typically come in with unintentional weight loss. Mm. Oftentimes we'll hear that the patient's been diagnosed with diabetes within the last year or so. In addition, sometimes patients will come in with jaundice and, and yellowing in the whites of their eye. And other things we'll see is we'll see abdominal pain in the upper mid-abdomen that can radiate to the back. Uh, those are really the typical signs and symptoms we'll see. But weight loss, nausea, pain, that triad we see a lot. Mm. And of course, pancreatic cancer was really <clears throat> drawn back into the national spotlight when our beloved Jeopardy host, Alex Trebek, shared his experience and journey following his diagnosis. And aside from bringing attention to the disease and the research, of course, what's the most hopeful thing that patients should know when it comes to pancreatic cancer? He really had a valiant fight for many, many months, but we did see that weight loss in him, for instance. And you know, we're very, very grateful to Alex Trebek. As you said, he really raised awareness to pancreatic cancer. He also raised funding. But what we want patients to know with pancreatic cancer is that the biggest thing is once they start seeing signs mm -hmm. or symptoms, we want them coming in and getting evaluated by their primary care doctor. And I also want patients to know that it's a cancer while we still have a long way to go, we are starting to get better at. So there is some reason for hope, although we still want to get a lot, lot better at this disease. Of course. And as you say, some of these uh, real leaps forward that we've made in other cancer research and care uh, have been frustrating when it comes to this disease. In terms of gastrointestinal cancer research, what can you tell us about the cutting edge? What's happening right now? So what we're trying to do in GI cancers, and, and particularly in pancreatic cancers, is we've really been making an effort to go back to the drawing board. And we've been very lucky. There's been really an increase in funding we're seeing from philanthropic organizations like the Lust Garten Foundation, like the PanCan organization. Actually, the Hale family just gave the Farber $50 million for pancreatic cancer research. Mm. And what all of these um, philanthropic organizations are doing is they're trying to get the clinicians to work with the scientists so that when we do clinical trials, hopefully the trial will work, but even if it doesn't work, we'll learn as much as possible as, about this disease so that our next trial will get even better. Sure. We've all been touched by cancer in one way or another through a family member or a loved one. Cancer in general always gets a big focus. Why is there more urgency for awareness about this disease? Pancreatic cancer, it's just a really, really tough cancer. In cancer circles, pancreatic cancer has a bad reputation. It's just a mm. cancer that unfortunately outcomes have been really poor. And it's a place where we really need to improve. <coughs> right now, it's the third leading cause of cancer, in the United, third leading cause of cancer death in the United States, but very soon it'll be the number two leading cause of cancer death, just because it really has an aggressive biology. And 
overall, it's been pretty resistant to our treatments. Well, that's why your work is so vital. And we really hope, as with so many other cancers, which seemed insurmountable in the past, that progress will be made because of all of your genius and hard work. Dr. James Cleary, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you so much for having me.